in the only building this franchise has ever known. We're at the home of the Texans. Welcome to NRG Stadium in Houston. Personnel is out. Everyone's ready to get this one going. And away we go from NRG Stadium. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. So they're off fence out now to get this game started. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Throwing his crowd. Pass taken in by Diggs. They get an even 10 on that play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Here's Stroud. Diggs there to bring it in. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. It's a gain of 22. And it sets up a Houston first. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. And they've got themselves another first and 10. Running left is Mixon. Escapes it. And he's able to take this down to the red zone. He stopped at the 17. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Hand off on second and short. And he'll go down here at the 16. That's a short gain of one. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Hey, I know the temptation is there. If I'm thinking it in the booth, I know that play caller is too. That could have been a chance to be aggressive. Not the case. Go get the first down like they did and a new set of downs to work with. Here's Stroud now. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans take a 6-0 lead on their opening drive. It's a Stephon Diggs touchdown. So that right there, exactly what you're looking for in the opening drive of a game. And these opening drives are tone setters. You come out flat, maybe you go three and out. Sometimes there's a carryover effect, Kate. But here, they were sharp, they were crisp, and they grabbed the early lead. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. set up for the kickoff. This return starts at the five. And great starting field position here as they bring him down beyond the 40. When you get contributions like that out of your kickoff returner, it is such a boost to an offense. This is about showing no fear. Hitting the lane hard, a determined run back, and setting your offense up with great field position. The Bears with some nice field position as they get set. First and ten. Here's Williams. And his first pass falls incomplete. First time this game they've looked to him. So it'll be second down. Oh, those linebackers. Those linebackers. They seem to be in the thick of every play and some of the quickest reaction times out there. He needed a quick reaction there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. The give here on second. And this run's limited to a minimal gain up to about the 44. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run 
is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. They'll throw on third and long. They left him wide open. It's complete. And he'll score. Touchdown, Chicago. The Bears finish off their opening drive. So no mistaking that play call, Brock. They send nope. everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you'd think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. Mm -hmm. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. That one splits the uprights. And we're all tied up. Bears kicking team all ready to go, and they kick this one away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Now we'll see the Houston offense for their second drive of the contest. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. They're out and set. First and ten. Back to throw, Stroud. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now it's Stroud. Quick hitter complete. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. They get 13 on the pickup. And it sets up a Houston first. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Scoreboard showing sevens on each side. We'll make our return to NRG Stadium after this. Welcome back. We'll begin the second quarter with the Texans in possession. They're looking at first down here. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. Has a man, it's Brown. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They go play action here. Flushed out of the pocket. He's stepping up and takes off with this one. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that, actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play, and denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Play action on first down. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. It's a 31-yard play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. What a spot for a big play, huh, Brock? It has him well into the red zone now with first and 10. This throw is caught. And he's short of the first after a mild game. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. One of the tight ends in motion left. 
They'll run now on second down. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. down from the gun and he will score it's a Houston touchdown the Texans get some late points and the lead Nico Collins with the touchdown all right partner what do you think was that a design read or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there yes <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. That one right down the middle, and they'll continue adding to their lead. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. To throw, Williams. The Texans close it in and they will get him! And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact that gets home. But of course we know, it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. Throw reeled in by Allen. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. They'll run it here on third down. Cuts it to the right sideline. Reaches the 40. And he finally ends up out of bounds after a huge game. They rip off a huge chunk of field as the downs reset. He just didn't quite have the last bit of burst needed to finish it off. But don't be surprised to see them go his way again soon and give him a chance to earn that touchdown. Throwing from the gun. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Running for the marker on second. And he'll get them enough for a first down. The Bears decide to call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. come up first and ten. The throw is Williams. The throw is caught. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Williams set to pass. And he'll score! Touchdown, Chicago! 
The Bears earn the chance to tie before halftime. DeAndre Swift, the touchdown. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. The Bears kicking team all ready to go, and they kick this one away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Texans going on offense now, just before halftime. And with just under 40 seconds left to go, Brock, they can try a drive, but they got to hurry. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. And he could have a free play here. Cut by Diggs. And he's tackled with markers down. This one should be on the defense. So after some careful consideration, they're going to go ahead and decline the penalty. The Texans offense getting one final possession before halftime. And with all their timeouts remaining, Brock, they may be able to put a little something together here before halftime. New set of downs for him from the 46. They go play action on first. Right side, got a man, complete. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. to the line they go it's second down throwing from the gun here splits a couple of defenders and completes it and that tackle stops him after a solid game They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Shroud. Throwing this back in the end zone. Too far out of the back of the end zone it goes, incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And that makes it fourth down. Well, if nothing else, that proves they're not afraid to take a shot on any given snap. And with enough looks, eventually, one's going to connect. Texans going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. The punt's away, and this one looking good. Angled this one for the sideline. The Bears going back on offense just before halftime. And there isn't much time left to work with, Brock. Backed up deep on their own side. First and ten, but only time left for maybe a couple of plays here. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And he has enough room to gain about four. So we're at halftime of this Sunday night matchup. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? Well, we're set up for an incredible second half, all tied as we kick it away here in quarter number three. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Chicago offense with the football first to begin quarter number three. And they could take control of the second half early, Brock, if they break the tie on this opening drive. They'll get this drive started, first and ten. Here's a give up the middle. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. 
Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. You know, okay, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. It right? doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets a good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. That's good for seven yards. And that's good for a Bears first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. On first down, they'll run. Give them a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. That's the kind of run play that feels like tug of war at field day. <laughs> and you're just not moving the other side. Just a short run. Neither side feels particularly good about it. And we'll move to the next. Second down now, seven to go. Staying grounded with Swift. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Williams will look to throw. He's got him, that's Swift. And not much doing, he stopped quickly. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second down now, seven to go. Throwing off the play fake here. He puts some juice on a deep throw down the middle. And he'll score. Touchdown, Chicago. The Bears take the lead right away in half number two. Well, this has definitely been a tight one throughout, Brock. So now that they've taken the lead, the question becomes, can they hold on to it? And that question right there is one the defense has to answer. But this sure had the look of a drive where a coaching staff challenged that offense, saying, hey, we need a big drive from you guys right here. And sure enough, that offense delivers. Yeah, no doubt. The Bears kicking team all ready to go, and they kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Out now come the Texans on offense. And they're a touchdown back, Brock, as they take over down 21-14. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Throwing his crown. Digs there to bring it in. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for on first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. A give left side. Here's Mixon. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. A five-yard gain on the play. And it sets up a Houston first. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you can recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Finding Collins. And he'll get it up to the 44. That's the end of the third on Sunday night. The Texans have it to start, coming in trailing on the scoreboard.
Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Back to throw. Stroud. Fires over the middle. Caught. And this one doesn't go far. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. All plays on the table here for third and three. I'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. Back to throw it. They can't connect as the coverage comes through with a fourth down stand. You know, Kate, I don't think I've ever met a defender that cares. All they want to do is get off the field. Doesn't matter if it's a drop pass, deflection, breakup, even an interception. Challenged by the offense to get one more stop to get off the field, and that's exactly what they did. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Off the play fake. He's going to throw. Got a man. Coverage lost him. Complete. And he's brought down a little short. No. Actually, they do give him the 10-yard line. They'll take that kind of passing from the rookie out of USC. He gets him the first. Man, I love that effort. Adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch. And it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. They'll try and punch it in. And he's going to get taken down near the goal line. It's a gain down to the one. Nine yards on that play. And they're just a yard out now on second and goal. Hey, I get it on first and goal. Right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. They're running again. And he takes this one in for a Chicago touchdown. The Bears take a 13-point lead. DeAndre Swift, the touchdown. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The Bears kicking team all ready to go, and they kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Houston offense out and ready to set up shop. And the last time we saw Brock, they took a risk, went for it on their own half of the field, but it didn't work out. All right, one more snap before the two-minute warning. Here's Stroud now. He's on the move. He takes it himself. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. Now we get a look at this Texans offense. Their failure on fourth down was answered by a touchdown, so they're really going to need to rebuild some momentum as they take the field once again. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here he is to throw. Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Throwing now. That's caught for the first. And they're going to bring him down just as we've come up to the two-minute warning. 
Timeout coming from the Texans. That's their first. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting the first. Need to work as quick as you can here, Brock. Two timeouts left, down two scores. It's first down. Looking to throw it. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. So it's second down coming up. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Now to throw. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. To throw. Completed to Collins. And he's taken down at the 30. They'll get 18 yards there. And the Texans are going to have a first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. The clock rolls as the Texans try to hurry their offense to the line. <laughs> Heaves this one for the back of the end zone. And no one had a shot at that. It's out of the back of the end zone incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. So that brings up second down. Well, you got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. To the air, Stroud. He goes back to him yet again. Complete. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. First and ten, got to score immediately here. Only one timeout left, and that clock winding down. From the red zone now. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually, they do give him the ten-yard line. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. The clock rolls as the Texans try to hurry their offense to the line. The Bears close it in and they'll get him. Final timeout called by the Texans. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Looking to throw, Stroud. Pass caught, nine yard line. And he's gonna be just inside the 10 before he goes out. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Looks like they will indeed try it, fourth and two. <laughs> Trying to push this past the marker. And this is brought to a halt pretty early at about the eight. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on downs. Well, I think every analytics book out there, Kate said, you got to go for it. You're in four down territory, down a couple scores here in the fourth. But now it's all about the defense. Can the defense come with a quick turnover or a stop to somehow, some way, spark a comeback? They'll run here on first down. And he's brought down for a loss. So the Bears take this one on the road. 
And it's not quite a full game shutout, Brock, but keeping that other side off the board in the second half, that sure went a long way towards securing them this win. Made things a lot easier for everyone else to operate in the closing stages of the game. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.